want me to send it? Don't you want to do that? Wow. All right. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go fast. <laughs> yeah. The, it's crazy. It's really driving pretty quick around. This is like a tight back what road. what I'm seeing right now. This is the kind of road that we're on. Look at, the, look at this. Whoa! <laughs> what? Definitely. Yeah, all wheel drive is a little over 500 horsepower. What? And obviously. How many tickets have you gotten? I don't, I have, I've not gotten it. I've been pulled over once, but not for that. Oh, there's another yeah. Tesla passes us. There you go. I feel like you got to do like the Tesla wave or something like motorcycles do. You just, yeah. All right, we are about to go on the Tesla Model Y. I've been in one Tesla like a month ago, but it was like an Uber, so it didn't really go all that quick or anything. This bad boy. Look at that. Got like a pearl blue paint to it too. Real nice. Family right here. This is Tom. He's going to take us on this little journey. And you guys are going to get to watch me giggle like a little girl. All right. Right? You want me to send it? Don't you want to do that? Wow. All right. It's about to go down. I'm actually about to drive a Tesla. If I can even get in it, I don't even know what you do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at these seats. This is pretty wild. The seat once you put it in bed, drive because right now it's gonna it's gonna move to my profile, which is way back. So, yeah, look at that, perfect, perfect. perfect. Uh, yeah, it's good. All right, so to put it in the drive, let's turn down it's actually gonna move again. Don't worry about that. As, as soon as you put it into drive, it's gonna to switch to my profile because my phone is here, so it oh, thinks okay. I'm in the seat. So just brake. Go ahead and just yeah, hit the brake and then push up. And that puts us into uh, push all the way up in reverse. Okay, now you can adjust the seat. reverse now so you got your camera just use it out and you're good to go wow that's crazy just stepping off the brake nothing happens right so I'm gonna so, just ease into it because yep. I don't want I don't this is so it's got you and you'll sense it when once we get going in forward regenerative braking so you will not really need to use the brake pedal you'll find that when you take your foot off the gas the car Oh, it's got a little uh, momentary. Can you edit this stuff? I can edit this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to go fast. <laughs> I know. That's the whole point. Go fast. Be sure you subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just want to hit that subscribe button right there and that notification bell. Please don't kill my husband, okay? I'm trying not to. I gotta be able to make some money off this YouTube video. There you go. <laughs> wow, it even shows the person walking yeah, once, away. Yeah, once we get on the uh, get on this, the road, you'll see that what it's it's capable of seeing with the cameras. It's got eight cameras that give it basically 360 degree visibility of everything that's going on around it. So when full self driving is engaged, you can see everything. I'm like backing up real slow right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Take your, take your time. It just—I feel like there's so much power. I'm afraid to like just yeah, touch. In the... reverse, you won't. It won't go crazy. Oh, okay. You're good that way. Then what you'll do is uh, just go into drive, hit the brake, and push down the stick. There you go. Now you're in drive. All right. So, so this is the <coughs> this is the on a wide performance. <laughs> okay. So it'll do zero to 60 in, I think it's 3.4 seconds. What? Yeah, you're going to see it. When we get out on no 102, uh, it moves. Now, this is not a bad road to try right out of the gate to try the full self-driving. If you want to do that, just double tap down on the stalk. All right, so that blue thing is engaged. Now, it's driving. You can... 
if you want to slow it down, you can dial down here. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. The, wanna... It's crazy. It's really driving pretty quick around. This is like a tight back road. And this is like, it really took the turn. But we had a Santa Fe that could kind of like guide itself even at lower speeds. But like, this is really, yeah. So it's still in beta. So there will, it will occasionally do some things that you would, I would say for the most part, are comfort related issues. Safety wise, yeah. it's, it's really quite good. You still have to be prepared to take over. Uh, at any point in time and you can all you have to do is if you just grab the wheel yeah you'll have control back if you touch the brake you'll have control back um, so you know it's instantaneously back in your control when uh, when you this thing is really speed. driving itself like this isn't a highway that like you could barely see the line in the middle so you see the blue flashing that it just wants to know that you're here so just a little tiny bit there you go that's a, just a tiny touch on the wheel but no, there is a camera up here that monitors for if you're on your phone or if you fall asleep. Um, so look at that. I mean, it slowed down a little bit there, recognizing. So let's see how it goes. So, yep. It really just went around a car. Uh -huh. This thing is legit driving itself. And there's like rocks, you know, on the side of the road because this is a back road. Like, this is crazy. I, I honestly did not expect it to be able to drive itself on a kind of road like this. I mean, they're really getting close to this being at the point that it may be within the next year where you, you could, you know, get the back seat. Well, it's, get yet. this is what I'm seeing right now. This is the kind of road that we're on. Look at, look at this. So I'm going to put it back down for a second. Hopefully you can see. So the take it out of the D, when you get it'll stop at the stop sign here, but it let's see, so it's automatically just decided we're gonna go right, but we wanna go left. So you can just alright, so now you're back in control. Yeah. Jesus. A car that can that's crazy. Okay, good to go. Some oh I probably should have went ahead of this yeah, guy. Alright, he's he's moving in a nice clip, so he'll get out of the way. So I'm gonna go right. slow just to give a gap. Yep. You just want me to set whatever, this? Whatever you want. Yeah. All right, we're about a full set. Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah. What? That that's that's like Lamborghini performance. Uh, it is indeed. I, I you seen the videos if you watch my channel. I've driven a Lamborghini. I've driven a, a, a McLaren. This is fast. This is really fast. Wow. Do it again. There you go. <laughs> you basically feel like you're on a roller coaster, like launching. That is crazy. That is crazy. So how many motors does this thing have? This has two. One in the front, one in the rear. So it's all wheel drive. Little, then, definitely. Yeah, all wheel drive. It's a little over 500 horsepower. What? And obviously the torque is insane. The, you know, getting power to the to the wheels to the ground is just bananas. There's something also about just hearing nothing while you do it. That's, that's not, if we turn off the AC. Yeah, that's the it? only thing I hear. Is the is the air blowing? Oh my god! <laughs> How many tickets have you got? I don't. I have, I've not gotten. That. I've been pulled over once, but not for that. Just for going a little too fast from a stoplight. Oh my God. And I drove this um, a month and a half ago down to Boca Chica, Texas to see the SpaceX Starship launch. Nice. And I, I used FSD pretty much the whole way, 4,400 miles there and back. And the car drove almost pretty much like 98% of the time. I handled getting in and out of the superchargers. Yep. Um, but other than that, it drove the whole way on the highway. This is crazy. And this is like this is like an SUV basically. Yep. Oh my god. Now the they have the Model S and the Model X plaid. Yep. Which is zero so this is zero to sixty in three point four seconds. The plaid is zero to sixty in one point nine nine. And I, oh, I met god. up with a dude at a CVS that had one and he's like, Do you wanna go for a ride? I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. And we went out on a road like this. 
it's like you're freaking teleporting. It is just, I mean, as fast as this is. Yeah. You think about that, it takes a minute, a second and a half off that time. I'm going to send it one more time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And it's like, you just got to focus because. Yeah, you're going. I mean, you're going. That is, that is crazy. And you got to let off quick. I mean, it's already more than the speed limit. And yeah. you could easily just see like. at 100 miles an hour in no time. Oh, my God. And this will top out at 155. This thing is cool. I, I don't know, anybody watching this video, if you're looking to buy a Tesla and you got the money, I'd probably say do it. Make sure you buy that full self-driving because that thing, I, I can't even see wanting a Tesla if you don't have that feature and it can do it because that was just dope. Like like I said, we had a Hyundai and if we were on this road, you know, it's kind of guide you. Yeah. But th this is defined, like yellow double line, white line. It's pretty straightforward. That back road, there was almost no line. It was showing up on the screen, but it really was faded. I could barely even see it with my glasses on. And it's just such a tight little road, twists and turns. And then handle that car perfectly. Yeah, the, the, and there was a telephone pole, the rocks, like the little rock ledge like you see in the back road. Yep. Oh my God, this is a cool car. And it's, it's, it's driving pretty well too. It doesn't feel too bad. I mean, it, it feels like there's somewhat of a little bit like stiff suspension but it kind of soaks up stuff at the same time that's probably the primary complaint that people have about this particular model the model y performance is that it's got 21 inch wheels and oh, okay the, the suspension you feel the road yeah it's a little bit bumpier if you drop down to the 19s that makes a big difference and then there's a lot of people that have gone third party coil over suspension modifications to really dampen that and then it becomes a much more comfortable ride i mean i don't mind it at all it's no i, I think it, it's still really nice yeah. i'm just if, if i'm just talking about how it drives but i can tell like yeah it makes sense to the wheels because i mean the chair is pretty comfortable yep. even the chair honestly is soaking up some of some of the bumps and i can i'm sure you can kind of see me move just a little bit but it, it does pretty well i can definitely see driving this for for many many miles and being comfortable but you can definitely tell that you know uh, the little bumps in the road. You can you can definitely feel them. But the, I mean, uh, the, the trip that I did nice. to Texas, it, it ended up being 2,200 miles, and I did it in 40 hours because I didn't I didn't really plan it at all. I just decided on a Saturday morning they were going to launch on Monday that I was going to go. So I ended up only sleeping at the superchargers for like 15 minutes a pop. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was amazing that doing that whole trip in 40 hours. I didn't, my ass did not hurt after that amount of time in, in the seat. So I would agree with you. The seats are extremely comfortable. So yeah, I mean, it, it looks very clean, like very just techish. I don't know what the word would be, but that's what it seems like. I like the, the panel roof, of course, you know, gotta love that. And uh, yeah, let me speed up a little. I'm actually just cruising here. It's like a 50 mile an hour road. It doesn't. Oh, of course, now it goes back to 35, but how would you turn around right here? Oh, I see what you mean about the, the, the brake. That, yeah. that, is, that is tight. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't, my foot's not even on the brake. It just complete stop. Oh, there's another yeah. Tesla passes us. There you go. I feel like you got to do like the Tesla wave or something like motorcycles do. You just, yeah. But yeah, I mean, as much as you kind of feel the road, I mean, it's not it's not an S-Class Mercedes, so. Oh, for sure. But, but I mean, out of many cars, like it drives very smooth, very well. Like it's, it definitely has a luxury feel to it. It's not like a hard ride, like some kind of compact car or something like that. You know what I mean? Yep. So this gets 300 miles to a charge. Wow. That, that, that brake is, yeah, it's just real, like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like I let off where I normally would before I go to hit the brake, and it just already just stopped me. What were you gonna say about the charger? Yeah, so 300 miles to a charge. I charge it in the garage at night. It gets a full charge overnight, so it's always got a full charge in the morning. Do you have like a special charger? Yeah, the Tesla, yeah, the Tesla sells a charger um, that gives you. It basically gives you 44 miles of range per hour. Um, so that'll give you a full charge in just you know, Actually, 
if you can't afford the full self-driving, still, okay. still get a Tesla. That's fun. That is fun. Yep. Oh my God. That's like, you gotta pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that kind of speed. That's what's crazy, right? You can get a Model 3 now with the federal $7,500 tax rebate. <laughs> yep. You can get into a Model 3 for like 35000 It's crazy. I know the Uber guy that, that drove me in the, in the one I was saying I, I was in last month, like they have a program where you can just sign up and they'll give you a Tesla basically. And then they just like deduct the money you out pay, of like your pay you paying the rent. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, that's how I got this one or whatever. Yeah. They pay for all the like electric, whatever. Man, this is cool. If you want to put it back on FSD, just double tap them. Even after just seeing how it drove, <laughs> I will say it's still kind of like, ah, should I let go of this wheel? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, can it do it? Yeah, you're going but 50 no. miles an hour, you're trusting a computer to drive your car, right? Yeah, there's cars so the coming at me. It wants a little attention from you on the wheel. Yeah, I mean, there it, you go. there's cars coming at me. There's plenty of telephone poles. We're going 50. I mean, it's a more straightaway road, but it still turns and stuff. And yeah, this thing is, this thing is really cool. You got the whole Google Maps looking thing right there, the big screen. I haven't even talked about the screen. Yeah, see that? So it was gonna turn, and I still like, I still like, oh, is it gonna do it? And I grabbed the wheel. I shouldn't have, but I, I should have just let it go. So go ahead and uh, re-engage. I've set a destination to get us back. So this will let you experience it actually making a turn off of this road okay. on its own. <laughs> All right, so while it's doing this, I'm gonna just flip the, this is a Tesla driving itself. That's wild. Uh, picture back here. Sometimes it will react to flashing yellows at fire stations as it just was a little, it felt like just a little let off. Yep. Just getting ready to react if something's yeah. there. Yeah. It's funny because I always think this is the turn off every time because it just looks exactly it the does. same. Yep. Oh man. So did you have another Tesla before this one? I did. I had a one? Model 3 long oh. range. Okay. Uh, a 2019. And this is a 2022 uh, Model Y performance. And uh, it was crazy. I I sold it to a dealer. I think I paid 53 yep. for the Model 3. And I sold it two years later, two and a half years later, for 49 I believe so, it. The way the prices were recently. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, you basically got to drive it back. for nothing. So, okay. So here's, okay. So it's going to take this, this, this turn here. That's cool. Wow. I know you can see from the screen, all the trees moving. It so really, your attention. it really just took a 90 degree turn. So Slow this is, down. This is a, I just picked this randomly. This is a dead end. So um, you're going to actually wants you to give a little attention. It'll say creeping for visibility, so yeah, it puts that little blue line out. Okay, so that's good. It's waiting. <laughs> wow, wow. And this thing can tell, like, <laughs> that's why. You definitely want to be ready here in case it decides to do something you don't like. Okay. Here. It's patient. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of cars. And I'm not quite sure how it even can tell from all the way over there. Like I got my foot covering the brake. Okay, now you can just step on it to go if you want. All right, so I mean, that wasn't actually terrible. That wasn't a No, a I mean, decision. that was legit. I am impressed that figure that out. I mean, that's pretty busy. Yeah. That's wild. Did you step on the gas or did no, you? No, I didn't. You let I, it do the whole thing. Yeah, right. I just that, covered it the, that really well. Actually. Yeah, I just covered the brake in case it tried to go when when we like I knew it was impossible to go kind of thing. And it got us up to fifty pretty quick. It knew it could not slowly creep out there. That it needed, yeah, it needed to do 
Yamaguchi. So now we're coming to where the turn is in a second. Yep. I'll just give it that attention again. That wasn't too bad. It's it's a, a, it's a very tight. Yeah, it is. But the good thing is, it didn't stop in the road to complete the turn. It, yeah. it actually took momentum into the side road before it really slowed down, so that if you know people behind us don't plow into us. Yeah, it was probably maybe five, seven miles faster than I would have wanted. Yeah, like right. I would have taken it. Yeah, I agree. But the people behind us were also coming quick. But I mean, again driving itself so do i just double tap to drive myself just or? you can tap up on the stock twice there you go you got control now i have control people this is really cool thank you for letting me drive oh, this yeah. thing you're welcome this is uh <laughs> this is the future there's no doubt this is the future oh there. my god i mean imagine when it gets to the point where this can truly drive without you having to do anything and you can go out have dinner have a couple of drinks, yeah. and then get in the back seat of your car, and you, all you do is you can actually tell it, take me home, and it'll set the route automatically and, and engage, and it'll take you all, all the way to your driveway. I mean, that's that's a game changer when that's possible, and that's... Yeah, it's just going to take people a little bit to uh, get used to it, because I've, I've sure. known that drive self-driving has been around, like I said, I had like the dumbest version of it on one of my cars, you know what I mean? Lane keeping. Yeah, and, and it would like, you know, it has the adaptive cruise as well, so it yep. can kind of slow up, come to a stop, and even keep going after. Yeah. So even that is pretty decent. Yep. But to trust it doing the things it just did, even as somebody who's for it and everything, it's still pretty hard to Zero accept. Right. So I can understand somebody who's been driving since the 60s, you know what I mean, has only had gas-powered cars and doesn't like, you know, even smartphones. And then being like, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to going to take some time but once you can see it like it's like just like everything once once you experience it i think then it's a different different uh different game yeah like think about it if you're like 85 years old and you can't drive safely anymore in a couple of years you could have a car like this where you you could have your car take you to the you know your whatever your bridge game your doctor's appointment whatever and you can have the the, the freedom that you know, older people who shouldn't drive would be able to have. So anyway, no, abso awesome. absolutely. So just push down on the push the button, and now we're in park. And then all we do is we get out and walk away. <laughs> it turns <laughs> of off. Of course we do, right? Yeah. We oh don't have to my tell god. Anything. Wow. Just yeah, it's luxury, man. Just push them back and stuff. Oh man, this is nice. This is really dope. Oh man, everybody say thanks to Tom for letting me take this thing out. It's even weird just to, oh, look, you got the little button on the door to pop open. Yeah, it's weird. Just hop out of the car, just walk away. Cut off. Oh, man. Fourth of July weekend. There it is right there. All right. Thank you, buddy. You Thank you. Now, uh, going to go have some drinks and have a good time. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. SK Lifestyle. Hit that like and subscribe button, too.